What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Ashtead video. Today marks 8 months since I received my iMac, um, which runs um, on a PowerPC uh, base processor. Um, so it isn't the best really. If it was an Intel one, then probably it would be, like, that much better. Probably, if you had, like, an Intel Core Duo on it or something, it would probably be much better. When I first unboxed it on this channel, I thought, uh, I thought, oh, this will run out lying easy. But actually, looking at the specs on it, it only has half a gig of RAM, and plus it's PowerPC as well, so it can only run up to leopard and the operating system on it at the moment is tiger which is the second newest operating system that it can run since it's a power pc machine um which is pretty limiting to be honest because uh, you, you can't do youtube at all unless you have um a browser like camino or temple fox um, you can't get Google Chrome, that's not supported on PowerPC machines, that's only supported on Intel machines, um, Safari, you get Safari, but that is a really outdated version of Safari and, and, um, that cannot run YouTube at all, um, since how modern YouTube has gotten now, like, literally, all these, uh, if you if you want to use them for YouTube machines, then just don't go anywhere near them because they're just not worth it for for uh, if you want to use them for um, YouTube um, machines. If you want to play YouTube videos and do simple tax tasks, you can browse Google and stuff like that. You can browse Google if you want to look at Wikipedia or something. It's fine. It's, it's fine for doing that. But playing YouTube videos is absolute no go on these power PC machines, um, especially my one, um, the iMac G5 with a power PC processor. It's uh, it runs very poorly on YouTube, and uh, when it does, like it really, it's really laggy on YouTube, and it makes the computer really, really slow down. It may also makes the fans crank. Uh, all the way up as well, which is not good. Um, um, if you have other electronics like a monitor, for example, um, or a PC, it's not it's not really good because it generates a lot of heat when you're doing that. Even even if even if you're just on the desktop, uh, as soon as you log on, the fans start to ramp up and ramp up and ramp up, and uh, that actually causes the computer to slow down like if you if you hover your mouse over the dock most of the time it's fine for what you're doing but if it's like youtube or something then the dock starts to get laggy and even with light tasks the the dock doesn't get laggy so you can if you move your mouse over it it's still like pretty smooth but um but but all the other um, bits in the computer just completely have a meltdown. And if you're thinking about gaming, don't don't even go there. Don't even uh, don't even get me into uh, thinking about gaming. It's just absolutely probably one of the worst machines you can get. Uh, for gaming, I haven't got any games on there. I haven't tried any games on there because I I, I just fear it's gonna brick the computer. Literally, it has half a gig of RAM. What are you expecting? Like, what what? Literally, what are you expecting when it has half a gig of RAM? Literally, all you could run there on there is probably um some old DOS games or something with half half a gigabyte of RAM. Um, obviously you can bump. The, the RAM up to like one or two gigs, but still, uh, that wouldn't that wouldn't that would still limit you because of the processor. Because most games these days use Intel processors, so you would only be able to you, 
the PAL PC games uh, you'd be able to play would be very old and would be uh, in the early 2000s, late 90s, mid 90s, stuff like that. And the mid 90s to the early 2000s, those um, type of uh, games in that time period. So uh, you'd be playing very old games if you want to play, get, if you want to have gaming um, on on, um, on uh, these machines. Um, but yeah. I I don't use it as much now. I think I'm I'm thinking of selling it on eBay because I, I literally don't I don't have any use for it anymore. I really don't. Uh, the, since I found about uh, a lot about the Power PC and this has a Power PC processor, that that just completely kicked my interest off the surface for this iMac. I think I made the wrong decision. Um, it was like sixty quid. I think that's sixty quid. Uh, not well spent. Um, so next time I need to be more careful. I've had a look for more iMacs and I've even had a look at some like Mac minis and stuff like that uh, to replace it. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking into other options at the moment. I, I'm, I don't think I'll, I'll ever probably use the iMac again because it's it's one of those machines on the PowerPC. It's just absolutely useless these days. All you can do is browse Google. You can't do YouTube. No go. No go YouTube. No go gaming. It's just in today's world, it's an absolutely terrible, terrible machine, and I would not recommend you get this machine um, because it's all right if you want to have it. Um, if you if you want to put it in a, in a collect as a collector's item. But for something that you want to use, you actually want to physically use, it's just impossible. You can only do a couple of things on there, like browse Google, which is like the simplest task ever for any computer. Probably even for a Windows XP computer. Uh, except probably um, uh, like a Windows 3.1 computer or something, because that, that literally doesn't have any internet. But yeah. But yeah. All it can do is like browse Google, which is the simplest thing ever. Like look at sites like Wikipedia and stuff like that. Um, and if you try to download something, the page takes forever to load, forever. Um, and uh, the only good points out of this iMac are it's got a decent hard drive. It's got a 150 gig hard drive in it. Um, it's got. Uh, a really nostalgic array of ports it's got two firewire ports so so you could actually what well, you could actually use it for you could uh, get more storage and you could use it technically as a file server you could I guess you could store backups of, of all your other stuff but I don't, I don't see how that would work um, so yeah I think this is a massive mistake I've made um, and uh, hopefully I won't make make a mistake like this again. Uh, that is fifth. That is sixty quid, right down the drain. And uh, I, uh, and uh, yeah, I need to choose more. Uh, I need to think about it more when uh, I'm I'm choosing my next computer. But anyway, if you did enjoy, uh, make sure to smash that like button, and I shall see you next time with another Ash Tech video. Until then, goodbye, guys.